Another mind-blowing documentary asks, how dangerous is the black hole closest to us? Scientists reveal, do you even ponder where the nearest black hole to Earth is located? In this video, we'll examine the most recent findings about the scientific explanation for this astronomical event. We'll look into the origins of black holes, their peculiar behavior, and the nearest black hole to Earth. Some mind-boggling ideas scientists have discovered about this mysterious natural force will astound you. Please consider subscribing to our channel, liking the video, and commenting on this post. The discoveries made by scientists about the SS-433, our fifth black hole, will leave you perplexed. Stay with me till the end of this video and learn more about our Milky Way. Gaia BH1 Gaia BH1 is the moniker given to the black hole recently discovered by astronomers and is nearest to the Earth. Around 1566 light years from Earth is the space time singularity known as Gaia BH1, located in the constellation Ophiuchus. It is part of a binary system with a star similar to our Sun and is roughly 10 times more massive than our Sun. This is a very clear observation of a solar-sized star circling a black hole of stellar mass in our galaxy. This is a tremendously fascinating finding. Black holes begin their existence as massive stars, and when they die out, they fuse heavier and heavier elements until the iron is formed. After the iron is formed during the fusion process, the star is doomed to a violent end. An exploding star collapses inwards, compressing its core and all nearby stuff into a singularity, a point of infinitesimally small dimensions and infinite density. Nothing, not even light, can escape the nascent black hole's gravitational force beyond a threshold known as the event horizon. The European Space Agency's Gaia probe examined data from over 2 billion stars to locate Gaia BH1. One star was singled out as showing clear signs of wobbling due to the invisible tugging of a black hole. A Sagittarius The Milky Way has a black hole called Sagittarius A, which is supermassive at its center. It is a gravitational monster and has a mass 4 million times greater than the Sun. It is considered one of the nearest to Earth since it is approximately 26,000 light years away. Astronomers use NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory to examine the atmosphere close to Sagittarius A. According to the research, less than 1% of the matter that gets close to a black hole really makes it to the black hole's event horizon. The X-ray emission from the region is extremely weak, since most of it is expelled. These discoveries came from among Chandra's largest observing campaigns. Chanda observed the region around Sagittarius A for roughly five weeks in 2012, capturing unparalleled X-ray images and energy traces. Infrared scans have shown a disk-shaped dispersion of young, big stars is responsible for creating the gas. The gas gets hotter and begins to generate X-rays detectable by Chandra as it approaches Sagittarius A. Sagittarius A emits weak X-rays because most of the gas is expelled before it reaches the event horizon. This is consistent with observations of large black holes in surrounding galaxies. Sagittarius A is a gravitational monster, but is among the few universes black holes close enough for humans to see the movement of neighboring matter. V616 Monocerotis V616 Monocerotis, sometimes known as V16 Mon, is a star system about 3,000 light years away from the constellation Monoceros. This black hole is 9 to 13 times as massive as the Sun and orbits another star around half as massive as the Sun. The binary companion of the black hole orbits it at an incredible rate. This could only be caused by the immense gravity produced by the black hole. Yet the black hole remains invisible to telescopes. They have just the swirling gravity dance to go on for confirmation. Many scientists have said things like, black holes are cool. Even though they can't be seen, they profoundly affect their environment. They warp light, distort space, and devour anything that comes too close. Cygnus X1 
Cygnus X1 is a fascinating celestial body because it is a stellar mass black hole created by the destruction of a massive star. At a distance of 6,070 light years from Earth, this mysterious object is surrounded by a debris disk that is either consumed by a black hole or ejected by enormous jets. Cygnus X1 has a mass of 14.8 times that of our Sun. Recent research has revealed new information about the history and properties of Cygnus X1. Scientists have determined the object's multi-million year history using radio, optical, and X-ray telescopes. Moreover, its rotational speed of 800 revolutions per second has been determined. The orbit of its partner star was analyzed and optical measurements were used to accomplish this. The more precise distance to Cygnus X1 has been calculated using data from a very long baseline array at the National Radio Observatory. The significance of these results for our understanding of black holes and their place in the cosmos cannot be overstated. SS-433 The discovery of SS-433 is another example of how black holes continue to fascinate and perplex scientists after decades of study. The Milky Way's black hole is only 20,000 light years away from our home planet. The optical illusion causes SS-433 to be classified as a ULX, even though it is fainter than the minimum brightness requirement. High energy X-rays from SS-433 are contained in gas cones on either side of the black hole. These cones act like a mirrored bowl around a flashlight bulb, focusing the X-rays until they can escape and be picked up by New Star. Because New Star's cones aren't pointed in our direction, the black hole looks 1,000 times fainter than it is here from Earth. We can use this information to understand black holes better in their causes, effects, and migration paths. M15 In 1746, while hunting for comets, Italian astronomer Jean-Dominique Miraldi stumbled onto M15. The cluster's brilliant center had a concentration of hot blue stars and cooler orange stars, making this globular cluster one of the densest ever found. With binoculars, you can see M15, which is 33,600 light years away, with a magnitude of 6.2. The month of October is ideal for this. The planetary nebula P1 was discovered in M15, the earliest globular cluster ever. Francis G. Pease discovered this gaseous shell of a dying star in 1928, and it is one of only four planetary nebulas known to reside within the globular cluster. That's not all in any case. It has also been discovered that the center of M15 is home to a black hole of intermediate mass, which is extremely rare. Galaxy and stellar center supermassive black holes are on the order of 10 suns, whereas M15 is 4,000 times as big. M15 is a breathtaking globular cluster containing a rare black hole in its center. Serves as a reminder that the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. However, the discovery left astronomers with many unanswered questions about the formation and evolution of these immediate mass black holes. Cygnus V404 V404 Cygni is one of the most investigated black holes in our galaxy, and it's only 8,000 light years distant. Its companion early K giant star is only 70% as massive as our Sun, but is six times as huge in diameter, giving the system nine suns. The massive particle jets from V404 Cygni showed signs of a wobble in 2019. We believe the black hole's time and space distortions are to blame for this wobbling. Intriguing features of black holes include the bending effect, which is called gravitational lensing. V404 Cygni has such a strong gravitational attraction that it wraps and bends light around itself, magnifying it. Scientists employ both ground-based and space-based telescopes to investigate V404 Cygni. They watch the black hole in action to learn more about its influence on the world around it. Jets, which are enormous streams of particles ejected from the black hole at high velocities, have also made V404 Cygni famous. These jets can affect the galaxy's development during millions of years of travel. To solve some of the universe's most perplexing problems, such as how black holes emerge, evolve, and interact with our surroundings, research on V404 Cygni is crucial. Gro J165540 The black hole and star known as Gro J165540 
have captured the attention of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. This dynamic duo is like any speed demon we've seen as they tear through space at a peak speed of 250,000 miles per hour. Grow J165540 is a seven solar mass object roughly 11,000 light years away, possibly much closer. Its companion is a large F-type star twice as massive as our Sun. The black hole spins at an astonishing pace of 450 times per second, keeping this pair in orbit once every 2.6 days. Because of its rapid spin, the black hole distorts space-time and twists the very fabric of the cosmos. This event has captivated researchers for years and improved our understanding of black holes. The intriguing Grow J165540 has taught us a great deal about the cosmos. Its rapid spin and high velocity set it apart from anything we've ever seen, and research into it has improved our understanding of black holes and their repercussions in the cosmos. M104 The Sombrero Galaxy, or M104 as it is formerly known, is a massive spiral galaxy in the constellation Virgo that's around 28 million light years away, weighing 800 billion suns. This enormous object is a standout in the Virgo galaxy cluster. Although it's too far away to see with the naked eye, a tiny telescope will allow you to see this celestial beauty in all its glory this May. An active star-forming dust lane surrounds the bright white bulb at the heart of the Sombrero galaxy, yet the black hole in the galaxy's center is fascinating. This billion-sun black hole resides in an irregularly shaped disk within the bigger, more symmetrical disk. The X-ray emission shows that matter is falling into the compact core, feeding the black hole. With a population of almost 10 times that of our Milky Way, the Sombrero galaxy contains thousands of globular clusters. These globular clusters are between 10 and 13 billion years old, around the same age as our Milky Way galaxy. Messier 81 in 1774, the German astronomer Johann Elert Bode discovered Messier 81, one of the brightest galaxies in the sky. Messier 81 is a beautiful galaxy that may be seen in the constellation Ursa Major, 11.6 million light years from Earth. Compared to the black hole at the galaxy's core, Messier 81's is roughly 15 times larger. A small smidge of light, Messier 81 can be seen with binoculars beside the brighter M82. The center of Messier 81 can be resolved with even a modest telescope, making it an ideal target for amateur astronomers in April. Messier 81's spiral arms may be seen in this spectacular Hubble view, winding down to the galaxy's core. The arms include a population of stars generated during an epoch of star formation that began around 600 Maya, and these stars are young, bluish, and hot. Ultraviolet light from young, brilliant stars fluoresces the surrounding clouds of hydrogen gas, adding to the beauty of our galaxy. Numerous dust paths wind their way toward the heart of Messier 81. Previous Hubble observations have linked the size of a galaxy's central black hole to the mass of its bulge. Conclusion That's all, folks. We hope you enjoyed this documentary on how dangerous the black hole is getting closer to us. Please subscribe, like the video, and share your thoughts on the matter as a comment. Your support is vital to us, and we look forward to providing you with additional content of similar caliber in the future. We hope to see you next time.